Hey guys, after this video, like I was talking about uh, what is my favorite upgrade systems uh, in games. What my favorite uh, upgrade system is, is like, uh, the more you use the certain weapon or ability, uh, the more this ability gets upgraded. Across uh, these uh, five games here, it's very uh, prevalent. Uh, really, like in any Ratchet & Clank game, you can talk about how, you know, a Ratchet & Clank, as, as, especially this one, you're known for getting a lot of weaponry and, you know, like space weapons, crow control weapons blasters assault rifles and so on grenades special types of uh, grenades and yeah so the more you, you use any one weapon and uh, the more that weapon gets upgraded so you have to really uh, use a weapon uh utilize a weapon for it for it to get upgraded and uh there is obviously a separate uh, upgrade systems as well where you basically build up a rare titanium or whatever or bolts and uh, you can uh, upgrade them uh you know uh, you know, uh, in terms of their uh, potential, you can basically upgrade them through that way. But yeah, so basically, uh, but the more you uh, use the weapon, uh, the higher the, that weapon's uh, potential gets. And yeah, so that's very common, especially like, for example, the Ratchet and Clank. In uh, this one, there's this one uh, goo-based monster, so you can basically get them to basically uh, fight for you. And uh, very good for taking out crowds and, uh, you know, uh, bigger enemies. And uh, there's another one where uh, the more... Uh, well, in the more uh, recent uh, Ratchet and Clanks, right, you have that one which is called the uh, Disco Ball, the, the Disco Ball, which basically uh, distracts the enemies, right? And yeah, so tons of weapons, basically any weapon, and uh, it's going to be kind of more skewed because certain weapons are not as effective as others. So naturally, uh, you're not going to use them as much. Same idea here with our Resistance, Insomniac, by Insomniac as well. Resistance 3, same basic idea, the more you use a weapon, the more it gets upgraded. Uh, with the resistance 3 had a cool ass weapon you had two there's a cryo gun which shoots out ice and there's another one where it's a mutator which which is like crowd control it's very dangerous but uh, this goes for any weapon there's one uh, there's a weapon where it's basically auto aim you know, and it's special there's another weapon that can literally shoot th uh, shoot like through walls and then like as you upgrade them the weapons get better and better and better uh, but you have to use the weapons you have to use weapons uh, any one weapon after that weapon to get upgraded like i just whenever i play this like i'm fully upgrading at a bullseye rifle you know as soon as possible uh you know a certain weapons now as, as far as i know as i remember there is no new game plus right so some weapons you're gonna get uh near the end uh, near the end of the game so you can't really uh enjoy them as much but yeah resistance the more you use the weapon and i believe it's like Level 1 to 5 or level 1 to 6, uh, one of those. Weapon is going to get more effective over time. And weapons uh, that you don't use, basically, uh, won't get upgraded to its full uh, potential. Uh, upgrades, they're mostly uh, improving ammo, range, damage, so on. You know, a crow control, if it's crow control. But yeah. Skyrim, I'm pretty sure you guys know about Skyrim. But yeah, Skyrim has it so... It's more about abilities, so abilities you get... And the amount of things, uh, the amount of different upgrade categories in this game from, for example, you have uh, double wheel type swords, uh, you know, uh, single handed swords, spells, defensive spells, and so on. So uh, the more you use any type of thing like in the game, archery, a one handed weapon, and the more that gets upgraded. But you have to use it, you have to use it. Like for example, I'm always using spells, fire based spells, ice spells, healing spells all the time. Especially the healing. Like I die, like I die uh, like a lot in this game. Uh, like, you know, if you don't have healing. But I believe in the uh, remastered version of this, you get healing spell right after the first uh, two hours uh, in the game. So yeah, uh, once you unlock uh, the spell abilities, right? Yeah, you get the healing spell. So the healing spells will level you up really fast. And with, with so many different types of spells, you know, destruction spells, the illusion spells, so on, alterations. And... Um, yeah, so just basically, uh, like I'm, I'm using spells constantly, 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 and fighting like uh, I can mostly use one-handed swords. They're faster. You move faster. I feel, and uh, they take up less stamina. And you know, uh, through uh, this as well, like you basically level up. Like uh, there's the overall level where you level up. Uh, you know your uh, magic meter, stamina meter, health meter, and yeah, so. Uh, the over time, you know, like you're really gonna need more health and more stamina, especially as if you have no stamina, you can't uh, swing your sword or whatever. Uh, you move slower, and yeah, there's also certain things like upgrading in terms of inventory type sets. So, like uh, for example, like uh, there'll be a certain weight limit or whatever 
where I can only carry like a certain amount of items. So, you know, like it's very important to basically pay attention to this limit, upgrade the limit over time. And the more you upgrade stamina, I believe, and the more of this, the more I can carry, you know, a stronger how you get. And, uh, you know, for example, upgrading the magic meter, you can use more powerful spells. And yeah, so, but yeah, it has the same basic idea, tons of different categories. That you use, uh, the more you use them, uh, the more uh, they get upgraded. Another one here now is Straw Doom and Path of the Furon. I know this is going to seem familiar as two weeks ago I did a video about mediocre games. But uh, one thing though, like it did well, is the fact that Straw Humans, you play, you know, as an alien with uh, telekinetic abilities. This one introduces time, well, no, the previous one, but there's time freeze ability and there's another ability or whatever where it's like, you know. But yeah, anyways. With a destroyed human path of the fear on you basically get it where um the more you use any type of you know for example there's a master of space master of time the more you use these abilities the more effective are they get over time and uh like i didn't really understand this i uh, playing it like my second time or my first time uh playing it on my first time but yeah it was kind of a uh, confusing but yeah they basically say if you you know uh, you know uh, the more you i uh, use uh, these various abilities there's a body snatching too. That's the other one. Shape shifting ability. There's body snatching where you basically, you can basically uh, shift into people or whatever through this, I don't know, telekinetic uh, ability or whatever. Yeah. But so, uh, the more you uh, use uh, these various, you know, categories, right? You know, space, time, and uh, shape shifting. I can't remember uh, what it's called. But yeah, the more they get upgraded, they get more effective over time. And uh, yeah. So, Basically, uh, the basic idea is, yeah, so uh, the more you uh, uh, use the ability or weapon, the more it uh, gets upgraded. Like, I wish more games had this type of upgrade system. I, you know, but yeah, anyways, I, I check out uh, these games. Uh, mostly uh, these ones here, but yeah, especially Skyrim and uh, Resistance 3. Uh, the upgrade system is very fun. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.